Hey everyone and welcome back to the Matrix channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the at the role I had with one of our students, Vova. And let's jump right in. So I got an underhook here with my left hand, then I'm able to get the possible Kimura with my right arm, which makes him defend. Then he tries to grab my leg, which makes me sprawl, and he posts his right hand there. So that gives me the opportunity to spin to his back, try to get a seatbelt, but look at his left elbow. He's doing a good job of preventing it, so I get a kind of improvised seatbelt, try to trap his arm, but then he pushes backwards to prevent that. I still have that grip, his hand is in, I try to trap his arm again, not working, but he's only defending that, so after that I can get the hook in. There it is. So now look at his right arm, he tries to remove the hook, but... If you take one arm away, you cannot defend the choke very well. And notice, I don't have the bottom hook, which is the most important one. So I know it's only a question of time until he will escape. So I sink in the choke. Sometimes if you can sink in a deep choke, you don't even need the, the control. And that's what I did here. And he realizes too late, brings his arm back, but it's too late. I can turn it a little bit more and that's it. So here we go again. Um, he's trying to go for a shin on shin guard here, but he is not pulling my... I don't know why I backstepped there. He's not pulling my knee to the left side and he's not spinning under me. So I can knee cut through. Also, I grab the head to make it harder for him to recover and pull on the head a little bit. Now I try to go for guillotine. Um, I don't know why I step over the head. Maybe I anticipate him turning in, so I switch to the other side. That's a big mistake. Um, if he grabs my leg like this, I can go for a crucifix very easy. So now I try to go for Kimura, but he's pulling it in, so I cannot really go for it or finish it. So I grab just with my left hand his wrist to block him and control him, and then I just try to go for the armbar on his right arm. Many people don't uh, see that coming. It's Marcelo Garcia style, of course, the GOAT, and it worked here. So yeah, pretty much all of that came from the mistake he did by grabbing that leg. Now we keep going. I got a butterfly hook here. Now I try to go for the arm. He extends the arm too much. So I love Kimura, so I go for it. I have my uh, left butterfly hook already, but he pushes it away wisely because he knows I can sweep him from there. Now I get it back. I want to sweep him, but there's people, so I have to stop it a little bit. But the Kimura gives such great control. That you really can go slowly. Also, my left leg landed right over his neck, so I could go for a triangle here and finish with an Americana variation from there. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, grab his head. He leans forward, and then always I love to go for a teleport pass. Not the nicest one, but sometimes you can even... Uh, if it fails, you can get a position. I don't know why he's turning away here. So that, of course, lets me take his back. I have the C pad now, this time uh, a real one. Um, I guess I will try to trap the arm again, but he's preventing that because he knows. I should get the the the, uh, the hook here, the, the bottom hook. Now I get it, but I should get it earlier. Still try to catch the arm. Um... I might end up get the second hook again, like normal. Stay there. Now, thank you, cameraman, for going around. Now, let's see. Grip firing. Yes, I tried to go for the straight jacket here. Boom, catch the arm down with the behind his back now I try to finish but look now I'm sloppy with my with my there's no seat belt there's no more seat belt I think it's enough to have the, the arm trap but that's wrong look at my left hook and he does the right thing and just um, shoulder walks out very good he tries to get an underhook now he turns into me but there's no real underhook so no that's a mistake. He he gives me the opportunity to go for a Darce choke. Boom. Sink it in. I like to finish them from mount. And yeah. I'll go for the variation here to grabbing my forearm instead of my bicep area. 
and it works. Here he he got a side control on me, but I'm framing here. But look, he's leaning back too much, so I try to go for a stiff arm escape. He notices and comes forward again, but I still have the arm, and now with two hands. So now I go to my side, then I can pose with my right arm. He pushes me down one more time, but my knee is, is um, on his belly, so I can win this fight. And now he gets just lazy, lets me get the Kimura too easy, and that's it for this roll. I hope you like this format. I learned a lot doing this, and I hope you enjoy watching. If you like it, then please subscribe to our channel, and we we will definitely keep more videos like this coming. Uh, stay tuned. Peace.